Hey, this is Chris Bernard. I just received my Google Chrome notebook, Chrome OS notebook, and I opened it for the first time and it almost immediately asked me to log in, but I wanted to document how long it takes to actually turn on for the first time. So I turned it off by holding down the power button and I'm about to turn it on again. So this is going from completely off to on. And that's it. Uh, it's, it's immediately ready for, for setup, but that's from completely off to on. And if you close the lid, I'll give it a couple of seconds just to make sure it's in sleep, and then open it back up. I believe it'll be back up before I have a chance to even get it open while I'm holding the camera with the other hand. Oh, it looks like it turned back off because I haven't actually set it up and logged in yet. So I guess that's a pretty good feature. I also noticed that whenever I press the power button, uh, it it doesn't like that. It does like a you can't do that thing unless I hold down the power button to turn it off. And I don't mean turning it off in the old PC way of doing it by holding down for five seconds, but more like a consumer electronics type of way like you would do with an iPhone or Android device. So if I just press the power button briefly, watch uh, watch this animation. I don't even know if the camera's catching that. Let me let me zoom in a little bit. It's very subtle. It's as if it's zooming out and then zooming back in, and it, it basically is telling me that I can't do that. So I will also have a, a video shortly that'll be with the Chrome OS notebook coming out of sleep mode and see how long that takes. Okay, I set up the Chrome OS notebook, and I put it to sleep by just closing the lid, and it is asleep, so... Uh, I'm going to see if I can get a shot of inside the lid here. Let me focus it. And we'll see how fast from when I open the lid it wakes up. All right, it's already up. It's 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 on the web page. So it it is really instant. I'll see if it's already available to surf the web. So it's working great. Here's a shot of the keyboard and the trackpad. The trackpad confused me at first. I thought it wasn't working, but it actually just had an issue where I, I've never had an Apple notebook before, so I didn't know that the actual trackpad itself is clickable. I was just tapping, tapping like this, trying to make it work, but you actually have to click in. I don't know if you can hear the click. Let's see. So uh, that's... That's one item of note if you happen to get one of these notebooks and you haven't already played with it yet.